once again. Um, I grew up in a very small town, and I had absolutely every interest under the sun. Math, English, Power Rangers, Pocahontas, you name it, and I wanted to play with it, read it, do it, but I had absolutely no interest in science. I hated science because it just involved way too many factors that I couldn't wrap my head around. And I also did not like the beach at all. Until one day on a field trip in second grade, my teacher said, we're going to a marine biology institute. And I was just like, trying to get out of it. My mom made me go. And uh, when I got there, I met this woman marine biologist. And she took all the girls, and she started showing us the whole entire lab. And I wasn't listening at, at all. And then she got to this room, and she's like, I need a volunteer. And I said, oh, I'm not going to do this. I hunched back into my little corner in the back of the class and she pointed at me and she told you, since you're hiding. And I, I was like, all right. And she walked up and she's like, I'm going to have you hold this uh, little uh, jellyfish. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> That's, uh, and like, she's like, I just want to sting you, don't worry. And I'm like, all right. And I held it and like, I could feel it like pulsating and I was just like, crazy cool and then she's like I'm gonna have this starfish touch your hair now and it pinched my hair and I'm just like I, it was just so exciting and then she's like and I want you to look through this and this is the moment that like really blew my mind she poured a cup of salt water that we had all scooped up uh, right before we went into this room and she put in a little drop on the microscope and I looked through it and I saw thousands of little tiny plankton and stuff and it just blew my mind that there were those, I didn't even know those existed, like, I was just like, there's stuff in my water at the beach that I was eight years old and had opened my mouth in multiple times, <laughs> and I just, like, it's, it just blew my mind that there were things that tiny, and there were so many different things in the ocean, and I went home, and I, I told my mom, I was like, oh my god, mom, I got to do all this, and do all this, and I had her buy me every single book that you can possibly imagine that had to do with marine biology, everything. She spent probably like $200 that, that year on ocean stuff, uh, movies, little mermaid videos, you name it. My mom had, <coughs> she, she's like, she's into science, finally. And I got into high school and I was just like, you know what, marine biology is awesome, but I'd much rather be taking photos and making videos for animals and stuff. So, I got really into that. I got really passionate about photography for animals and videos and directing the stuff for that, like Animal Planet and National Geographic. And I got into college and I got through my first year of that whole program and I was just like, I don't think this is very cool anymore. You know what? I think I want to get closer, more into the science of the animals than filming it, photography. So I went down to the Marine Biology Institute again and talked to the lady and she's like, oh, there are plenty of things. And so at this point, I had developed weird fears about jellyfish. <laughs> and I said, I don't want to necessarily be active in the ocean or anything and necessarily just the ocean. She's like, well, you could just be a biologist. And I said, well, what would be involved in that? And she gave me all these papers and I just, <coughs> from that point forward, I knew what I wanted to do. I was like, I'm going to be a biologist and I'm going to be a veterinarian, I'm going to have my whole life revolved around animals. And like thinking back to that day, like if I could find the one woman, the one who was like, okay, I'm going to pick the chick in the back who doesn't want to do this, I would, I would just thank her. I'd just be like, thank you. You gave me my defining moment, the, the thing that makes me who I am. Like I've had tons of animals. I've gone and done things that I wouldn't normally have done. I <coughs> swam through a kelp forest in seventh grade, which was a big deal for me. And it's just like, I just do things now that I wouldn't normally do, and because I think, what if I really want to do that? What if it turns out that jumping out of an airplane is awesome, and I'm going to have a blast? Or what if talking to that person over there, they do something I didn't know before, and now I have a whole new outlook on life. So that moment uh, helped define me who I am, and gave me a new outlook on things that I don't necessarily like.